Hey, how's it going? Today I'll show you an easy way to install OTT Navigator to your Fire Stick. OTT Navigator is a really popular IPTV player that a lot of people use. It is really stable and works fine with majority of live TV providers. So now, without any further ado, let me show you how to get OTT Navigator to your device. First of all, you'll have to get an app called Unloader to your device. You can actually get it for free from the official Amazon App Store. To do so, just go to search on your device and there, in the search bar, start entering the loader. As you can see, it already popped out for us at the bottom, so there was even no need to enter a whole name of the app. Now you click on the loader and that's the app which you need to get to your device. However, after you get the loader, it's not over yet. We still have to set it up. So to set up the loader, we actually gotta go to settings, so let's do it. Here are the settings, then we have to scroll down to the bottom and open My Fire TV. So click on it. And here we'll have to enable developer options on your device. However, on some Fire Sticks, and especially on the new ones, the developer options can be hidden by default. So if that's the case, do not worry, it's really easy to make them appear. Just go to About, select Fire TV Stick, and now you have to click on the middle button on your remote for 7 times and do it fast, so let's do it. As you can see, now the bottom for me it says no need, you are already a developer, that's in my case. In your case, it's going to say that you have become a developer now, and if you go back a bit, you will finally see developer options, which have appeared right here. So we open them, make sure to enable ADB debugging, then you gotta go to install unknown apps, and from here turn that option on for the loader. So what it does, it's going to allow you to install other applications from the internet and not necessarily only those which are only available in the official Amazon App Store. And that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So now we'll have to go to the list of apps on your device. Let's do it. There it is. Open it. And here you'll find the loader, which is set up and ready to use on your device. However, before actually using the loader, there's one more thing which I really recommend doing. It's of course connecting to a VPN. In my case, I mostly use NordVPN. Because they're super fast, we got a great app for Fire Sticks, Android TVs, phones, laptops, or pretty much any other device you may use. And they're not expensive for such a premium service. In the VPN app, you just need to connect to any server. Let's say I will connect to Canada right now. And from the moment you connect, all your traffic is going to be totally encrypted. It means nobody can track you or snoop on you online. And if you don't have a VPN yet, but you want to try it out, I do have a great offer for you. If you use my link, which will be in a pinned comment below the video or in the description of the video, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free, which is an amazing offer. And if you're watching this video on your TV or on your Fire Stick, then just grab your phone or your computer, open up a web browser and go to topvpnoffer.com. That's my website, which is going to give you the same amazing deal for NordVPN or just scan the QR code, which you can see on the screen right now with a camera of your phone. It works the same way and is also going to give you the same amazing deal. And now finally, let's use the loader safely. So we have to open the downloader application, let's do it, click on it, and wait until it loads. Then on the left side menu, we have to click on home, that's really important. And here in that search bar, we'll be entering a code, which is going to be 2, 8, 9, 0, and 7. So once again, the code is 28907. Make sure to enter it exactly as you see on the screen and do not make any mistakes. Because obviously, if you make a mistake, your code is not going to work. After that, you have to click on Go and in around 5 seconds, a website is going to open up for you. Now, when the website has finally opened, we have to scroll down just a bit until you see a list of categories. And from the categories, you have to click on IPTV players. So let's click on it. Then a big list of apps is going to open up for you. You just need to scroll down a bit and here you'll find the OTT Navigator player. So we click on it. Then probably some kind of ad is going to open up for you. If it does, do not click on open. Instead, press on close because if you click on open, it would mess everything up for you. So just click on close to close down the ad and wait until a new web page opens. So yep, here it is, we also have to scroll it down. You gotta keep scrolling until you see the download Fire TV and Troy TV button. If it doesn't work for you for some reason and the download does not start, you can always use the backup download link, which is just below the usual download button. So for now, let's click on download 
and in a couple of moments the download is going to start. Here it is. Usually it does not take long, but of course it all depends on your connection speed. Here you have to click on install and wait until OTT Navigator is installed to your Fire Stick device. So here it is. The installation is done. Now do not click on open yet. Instead, press on done because here you will have an option to delete the installation file as we really do not need it anymore on your device. So you gotta click on delete and then delete. This way you are saving yourself some free space on your Fire Stick. And by the way, you don't really have too much of free space on your device. So it really makes sense to save up as much storage as possible. Now, finally, let's go to the list of apps on your device. There it is, let's open it. After that, scroll down and here at the bottom, you'll find the OTT Navigator app. Now, I would recommend you to click on the Options button on your remote. That's the button of three horizontal lines. Click on it and then press on Move to Front. This way, OTT Navigator is always going to be at the very top of your application list and it's going to be really easy for you to access the app every time you need it. Of course, don't forget to keep your VPN connected before accessing IPTV players to stay safe and out of trouble online. Once again, if you use my link below the video or just go to topvpnoffer.com, you'll get 3 months of NordVPN totally for free. Then finally, open the OTT Navigator. And here, firstly, of course, you'll have to add a playlist. There are thousands of different live TV providers in the world, so it's totally up to you which provider to use and what playlist to buy. So then, after you have a playlist, you need to click on that button. Here, just enter the M3U link, which you get from your IPTV provider. After that, click on Apply, and it's going to appear in the list of your playlist. Alternatively, instead of M3U links, you can always use the Xtreme codes, which are also quite popular with some Live TV providers. To do so, you would need to click on Generic Middleware Server, click on it, then scroll down, go to Xtreme Codes, enter the link here at the top. By the way, once again, you get the link from your Live TV provider. It's up to you which one to choose. Then you enter the login for your service and, of course, the password. Then, as previously, you click on Apply and the playlist is going to appear for you. And pretty much that's it. That's the easy way to get OTT Navigator to your Fire Stick. Subscribe my channel for more content on Fire Sticks and see you next time. Bye-bye.